for the marching band. Please watch the video boards to learn more about today's sixth annual collaboration with U of L. Hey, Cardinals fans. My name is Lauren Hines, and this is Allie Dunn and Ryan Howell, and we're the drum majors of the Cardinal Marching Band. Today we're here marching together with U of L Health, and we have three incredible patients from the Brown Cancer Center with very powerful stories. We've designed a halftime show around their favorite songs. We hope you enjoy. Go Cards! Hey, Car Nation. My name is Ryan Howell. I'm one of the drum majors here at the CMB, and we have a very special guest with us today. Would you please introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I am Kim Landrum, and I am one of the cancer survivors. Would you mind telling us a little bit about your journey, your fight with cancer? Absolutely. In 2019, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, which came as a huge surprise. Cancer does not run in my family, so when we got the diagnosis, we were pretty devastated. I say we because it was really a family together that it really did impact all of us. After surgery, I was told I needed to have five months of chemo. At the time, that seemed like an eternity. Um, I again had not prepared myself because in my mind, power of positive thinking, I was going to have surgery and life was going to be good. And so when we found out, um, I can remember that day, that was almost a harder day than the day I heard that I had cancer. It ended in May of 2020. So yes, I did go through treatment during the wonderful COVID years, which is a whole nother story. Um, but luckily since then, uh, there's no evidence of disease whatsoever. So um, I'm doing great and I'm a cancer survivor and hopefully will stay that way for the rest of my life. <laughs> How has your journey in fight with cancer changed your perspective on life? One of the things I did is I decided to change careers, which was really big. I've been an educator for 25 plus years, so I just recently joined a nonprofit called Hope Scarves, and we support individuals facing cancer through scarves, stories, and research. That's amazing. There are a lot of songs out there, but what, if you had to pick one, what would you say your favorite one? So um, when I was asked what my favorite song is, I have to chuckle because my son and I have become huge Taylor Swift fans. We went ahead and went with New Romantics. Do you have anything else you want to say to Card Nation? Go Cards! Kim, what an inspirational message. We hope you and all the Swifties here today enjoy this song by Taylor Swift. Here's New Romantics! <laughs> Nice to meet you, Brian. We're very happy you're here. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit about your story and your journey with cancer? 
in uh, May of uh, 2023, last year, uh, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. When I had my surgery in July, it had spread dramatically. So fast forward a couple of months, it had spread to my spine, aorta, and the moral nodes. Started seeing Dr. Kumar and Dr. Silver at the at the Brown Cancer Center, and uh, they put me on a uh, a program of uh, hormone treatments and uh, radiation. And I'm happy to announce that uh, all the cancer cells uh, are, don't no longer exist. I'm blessed to be uh, in as good a health as I am right now. Would you say that your journey with cancer has changed your perspective on life? Every morning when I wake up, it's a thank you, Jesus, because I feel blessed um, that I've made it to this point. And everything that I thought was important isn't important. So you have to just put a totally different perspective on the everyday things in life. Absolutely. Now, what would you say is your favorite song? You dropped a bomb on me by the Gap Band, one of my favorite from back in the day. Good one. Is there anything else you'd like to say to Card Nation? I'm a big Card fan. I uh, hope we have another good year. And in the end, it's always L's up and go Cards. <laughs> go Cards. Brian, Brian, the last one in this next chart featuring the Gap Band. Here's, you dropped a bomb on me. Hi, my name is Dana Lee, and I am a nurse navigator at the Brown Cancer Center. I have lived in Louisville all my life and have been a card fan my whole life. Well, we're so honored that you've come to join us today. Can you tell us a little bit more about your story and about your journey with cancer? My cancer was diagnosed on my screening colonoscopy when I was 50 years old. Uh, now the screening age has been pushed back to 45. Over the past four years, I have gone through four surgical procedures, and I'm still under active treatment. However, I'm still able to work full-time and enjoy spending time with my family and friends and traveling and going on adventures. And how would you say that's changed your perspective on life? I believe that when you're faced with a life-altering situation, that it does give you a little bit more clarity as to really what's important in life and how you want to spend your time. It does feel a little empowering being able to, to understand that and, and do that, um, but it definitely does change your perspective. All right, Dana, what would you say is your favorite song? Well, I have, I like all different types of music, but on my playlist, Carrie Underwood, the champion, really gets my juices flowing when I was an avid runner. Um, I used to listen to that song a lot when I ran, but now it just kind of pretty much takes on a different meaning to me now. You know, living with cancer it has its challenges, and um, we all deal with the ups and downs, but I think that the important thing is to 
learn to live beyond cancer and adjust your sales and live a meaningful life. Let's go cars. Dana, what a powerful message about survival. As a tribute to you and your determination, here's Carrie Underwoods, the champion. Thank you. 